Let's get to prop bets. What do you got? Number one, I haven't even looked in the story on offthehooksports.com. By the way, Jimmy Himes going up. But the reason I don't want to look is because, well, I mean, I've read Jimmy's story. He's fantastic. But I don't want to look at Caleb's story because I want to be surprised. I want to actually respond in a genuine sense. So here we go, Caleb Calhoun. What's the first prop bet for Tennessee, Georgia? Okay, so the first prop bet, guys. Who's ready for this? How about Dana. Squirrel White? How about Squirrel White scoring a touchdown? Oh, well, that's easy. Hey now. They tried to work him into the game last week, but Joe missed him on the slant route. Um, and he got hurt couple, for a bit. Yeah, there he got hurt for a little bit. And um, really, I don't think we've we've said enough about Jalen Wright and Squirrel no, White. Squirrel I think. White. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've said enough about Jalen Wright and Squirrel White, who got banged up in in that contest and threw Tennessee for a loop. They're just not a plug and play team yet, roster wise. So I don't think we have really talked about that enough. I mean, the week kind of flies by, Caleb, but I think it was clear that Squirrel White was going to be a major part of that game plan before he got banged up, and then Joe missed him. So I think that's I think that's easy to not say that squirrel white will score a touchdown would be that's crazy all right what else you got all right so i also have coming after this here's my hottest take and dave you're still a believer in him i still i remember the Tua injury though and that's why i just would say in terms of odds brock bowers is is going to have less than 55.5 yards receiving he's not going to have 55.5 yards receiving in this game hey now I agree with that because I thought he was used as a bit of a decoy last week against Ole Miss. I think he still had a couple of catches. Um, but I think he's been used as a decoy for two reasons. One, he um, garners that sort of respect. But two, is he 100% back from – was it a high ankle sprain, Caleb? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that he's 100% back from that. So I think you've seen um, Georgia – handle him a little bit differently don't get me wrong he's still one of the top five best players and i, I give him a knockdown because it is tight end no offense jacob but he's one of the top five best players in college football he is i mean we're talking i mean he could be the next travis kelsey easily in the nfl if we're being honest um and hey taylor swift give brock bowers a call if you're if you're trying to go to for the rising star and not the washed up one <laughs> taylor but, uh, swift by the way who would you rather have at your game? We'll discuss that a little bit later. Taylor Swift or Dolly Parton? Don't tell I mean, me yet. Don't tell me yet. All right. One what do you got? What's, so. what's your next fraud bet? All right. So uh, the next one, Lad McConkey over. He's going to go over 65 and a half receiving yards because with Brock Bowers hurt or not fully healthy, I think, and with Kamal Haddon not out there for Tennessee, I just think George is going to target Ladd McConkey a lot. And so I think he's going to go over 65 and a half receiving yards. 65 and a half receiving yards. Hey now. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with that. Yeah. All right. Number two. I think this one's an easy one, actually. Carson Beck is going to go under 285 and a half passing yards. And here's why. And I'm going to break this down real quick. If Georgia wins this game, it'll be because they dominated and controlled the clock, right? They're not even going to throw that much. If they lose this game, it'll be because Carson Beck played horrendous. Either way, he's not getting the 285 and a half yards in this game. I tend to agree with that. Hey We're getting a lot of Hank Kingsley. So I'll give you a hey now on that. And number one, made it last week, going to make it again this week. He didn't use his legs enough last week, so they're going to call him to use it more this week. Joe Milton's going over 22 and a half rushing yards, particularly with Jalen Wright hurt. Oh, my gosh, he has, hey he has to. I mean, Tennessee's not winning this game if he doesn't. All right, so, so who would you rather you? – Who would you – what's that? What's the lock for you of all those ones I picked? What's the biggest lock? And I think you agreed with me on all five. But... Uh, Yeah, your first one. What was your first one again? Squirrel White scoring a touchdown? Yeah, I think that's a lock. If he doesn't, then this offense is in a funk uh, like it was at Missouri, and I think that's a real concern. Okay, so message board, be honest. Would you rather have Taylor Swift or your game or Dolly Parton? Oh, or Molly Cyrus? Really or Molly I Cyrus? Like well, I love Miley, too. <laughs> Molly's rocking some covers recently. Have you heard her doing some Zeppelin stuff? I'll start sending it. If you like Molly, she is doing some stuff on some YouTube. She did uh, 
Uh, what, what's the glass song? Uh, Heart of Glass by Blondie. Oh, that girl can well. That's that's definitely Miley's like lane because she's got kind of the rocker voice. If you think about it, the little raspy rocker voice. That's actually the perfect lane for Miley. Look, I'm biased. It's gonna be Taylor Swift for me because I love Taylor Swift. Okay, right. and also, also, Dave, if you're a Tennessee fan for recruiting purposes, if Taylor Swift's at your game, that's all they're gonna cover for like a week. So you'll get a that's ton true. of topics. <laughs> that's true. I'm gonna say Dolly. I think it's awesome. She's gonna be there and she's gonna sing Rocky Top. When's the last time she's done that, or has she ever? I mean, surely to goodness she did. I'm sure she's done it before in the past. Um, Dolly does a lot of EDM stuff now, and I'm a big EDM fan, so she gets on like EDM songs. Just What's EDM? Like, electronic dance music. You, <laughs> your generation <laughs> called it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Dolly got got on a couple songs with uh, Cheat Codes and Galantis. Um, Cheat Codes had an album called One Night in Nashville where they decided to combine EDM with like country, so they spent like a whole year in Nashville and just like worked with country artists to like with EDM tracks, and Dolly was on there. Mr. Says cool. uh, Double D Dolly. I think you're selling her a little bit short, to be real honest with you. Just Double D's? That's hot. All right, so. Let's drink. <laughs> talking about it. I mean, uh, but, from, from, but also, it's playing Georgia, which, as we know, had one of the greatest lines in the history of music when Ludacris was on Usher's song, yeah, and said, let's drink. You're the one to please. Ludacris filled cups like Double D's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I tell you? Uh, <laughs> can I tell you my uh, my best Dolly story that ties into Tennessee football? So sure. who was who was the great PA announcer for Neyland Stadium for a number of years? Do you remember who that was? No. His name I was not. his name was Bobby Denton, and I'm sure you remember that on the message board. So around about the early 2000s, they had the 50th year anniversary of WIBK, which is the flagship station of the Ball Network and one of the most successful radio stations, country or otherwise, period, end of discussion in the history of radio. Like literally, it won the CMA station of the uh, a year award in medium-sized market for like six years. So Bobby Denton, the PA announcer of Neyland Stadium, gets up there and he's the MC. He's running this whole thing. He's the GM and he's comfortable doing it. And Bobby's just, uh, and it was an incredible, incredible event. The 50th anniversary. They had all kinds of country music acts that I didn't know. But I remember he introduced Dolly and he said, and Dolly gets up there and she said, I certainly hope that you all have appreciated Bobby in your life because I tried my best to take him away and marry him but he was too in love with racing cars. He used to be the PA announcer at Talladega Super Speedway as well. And I, so I asked Bobby after that, I'm like, is it true? And he goes, oh, he goes I really like cars back then. And he really turned down Dolly Parton during her prime, like nine to five time for Talladega Super Speedway. Thoughts, Caleb Calhoun? That's pretty awesome. That's a pretty, pretty nice awesome, that's, isn't it? That's that's, that's that's hashtag swag. I uh, mean, that's hashtag super swag. Taking a Dolly Barton and saying, Love you, babe. Get on your way. All right, because I gotta go down to town. Nick Dolly Adams super Nick Adams would consider that an alpha male move. Oh yeah. Nick Adams that's is a right great up Twitter there. Troll. That's right up there with Han Solo. Uh when I Princess you, Leia I says, I love you. And he goes, I know. You know what would make it you know what would have made it extra swag? said sorry i can't do that but if you let me finish calling this talladega name i'll take you to hooters on a date afterward <laughs> can you imagine working at hooters and dolly walks in you're you're totally you're totally beat right there don't you just you know change your garb and get out of there you're not I comparing mean, with her true. that's probably true you're right you're right you gotta do some <laughs> i mean that that's the alpha male move <laughs> Bobby was the absolute best.